Today for our notes, we're going to be given information or given graphs and we're going to write the equation. Prior to today, here's the equation, you're going to make the graph. So we're going to go backwards. And there are two things that we're going to cover today. We're going to cover a given a point in the vertex. As my stylus starts working. Oh, maybe it's this thing. We're going to give, give it a point in the vertex or given a point and x-intercepts. We're not going to do given three points. We're going to do the first two. So our first writing equation given a vertex and a point. So here we have an equation that shows a path of a performer who shot out of a cannon where y is the height and feet and x is the horizontal distance traveled in feet. Right, the, we're going to write the equation of the parabola. And then we have a second part to answer, which I'll read in a moment. So if you look at the picture, what we want to find is the vertex and a point on that graph. Oh, and look, they've labeled two points for us. So out of those two points, Ella, which one of these is the vertex? 50, 35, good. And then the point is 0, 0 15. Now, <clears throat> underneath these, I probably should have left some more space, but underneath these, I'm going to label their variables. The vertex is always, or maybe I'll do it above it. The vertex is always HK. And the point would be X, Y. They're both X, Y, <laughs> but we're going to call the vertex HK. We're going to call the point X, Y. And because we're talking about the vertex, we're going to use vertex form. Which is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So out of this equation, I know the x and the y. I know the h and the k. What don't I know from this equation? Try that again. From this equation, I know the x and the y. I'm given an x and a y point. I'm given an h and a k point. What am I not given? Brene, what part am I not given? Which variable? The a. So what we have to do now is we're going to plug in in given information. Plug in given information and solve for A. So our Y value is 15 equals A, we don't know. Then we've got an X value of 0 minus an h value of 50, close the parenthesis, squared, plus a k value of 35. So you copy that entire equation over, you just leave a as the unknown. And then we're going to solve this for a. So to solve it for a, we need to make sure that we um, simplify with our order of operations and then isolate A. So if I do negative 50 squared, that is 2,500 plus 35. So I have 2,500 A plus 35. 
So I need to solve that. I'm going to subtract 35 from both sides. And then divide both sides by 2,500. When I do that, I get that A is negative 1 over 125 or negative 0 0.008. But these are exactly the same numbers, just one is a fraction and one is a decimal. So the exact same numbers, either would be fine. Now we're going to write the equation. Plug in A, H, and K only. We're going to plug in A, H, and K only, so X and Y are the variables. So we're going to use that point slope form one more time. Not point slope form, I'm sorry, um, vertex form. Y equals A times X minus H squared plus K. And I'm going to plug in just A, H, and K. So Y equals our A is negative 1 over 125, parentheses. X minus H is 50 squared plus 35. So that would be the equation in vertex form. And when you look at that equation, you should be able to find your vertex, 5035. What's this negative in front mean for the graph? What's it mean, Sophie? Reflection, it means it's going to open down. And the 1 over 125 is a horizontal shrink, so it's going to be really wide. And you can There's one more part to this, right? Uh, okay, the performer lands in a net 90 feet from the cannon. What is the height of the net? So horizontally, the performer lands 90 feet away. So that's telling me my x value is 90 feet. And then... Um, what is the height of the net? So that just means we need to plug in 90 for x and solve for y. And you can use your calculator. y equals negative 1 over 125 times 90 minus 50. Oops. Squared plus 35. Did you get it, David? Yeah. You didn't have it in yet? Have it in. I'm not going to do all the work for you.
adults. You can't wait for somebody else to do everything for you. Like, you're almost an adult. Type it in your calculator. Sophie, did you do it? What did you get? 22.2. 22.2. Good. Okay, the second, the student practice, it doesn't have a second part to it. It just is giving you the vertex and the point. So the first thing you want to do is label our vertex, HK. Label our point, XY. Put the correct vertex formula down. You put the wrong formula, you're going to get it wrong. Y equals A times X minus H squared plus K. If you don't know it, write it every single time. And I'll tell you, I can tell the future. The people who get these wrong either don't do their homework and don't know the formula and don't know what to do, or the people that have done their stuff, they forget the squared. And then they solve it without squaring, and that's going to give you the wrong answer. So you got to make sure. We're, remember, we're doing quadratics. There's always the squared. We keep that in mind. So the y value is 2. The a value I'm trying to find. The x value is negative 1 minus the h value 4 squared plus the k value negative 9. We're going to solve this for a. I get 25a minus 9, so add 9. Divide by 25. And I get 11 25ths. So then we write that back into the um, formula. Y equals 11 25ths X minus 4 squared minus 9. So when you're given the vertex form, you already have almost everything in the vertex form except for that A value, which is why you need another point. Questions? Next example. So for this one, we're going to write an equation using a point in the x-intercepts. So we need to know this formula. The formula is y equals a, and then we have x minus p, x minus q. P and Q are the x-intercepts. X and Y would be the point that's given to us. So we look at our picture over here. I need P, Q, X, and Y. Maybe I'll, I'll just label it on the picture. Ryan, can you tell me what P is? Uh, zero. No. Uh, four. Four. So on the x-axis, it would be the four. Warren, can you tell me Q? Good. 24. And then we need XY. So Nina, can you tell me XY? Zero. Yep. That ordered pair right there, right there would be um, the x, y, the 0, 9.6. So now we have everything labeled. We're going to plug it all in. So my y value is first. And y is 9.6 equals I'm going to solve for a. x is 0 minus p is 4. 4, x is 0, minus q is 24. 
questions about plugging that stuff in. So the next thing you have to do is you have to solve for A. So I have 9.6 equals A times negative 4 times negative 24. Pauline, can you tell me four time, negative 4 times negative 24? Ninety-six. So I have nine point six equals ninety-six A. Divide both sides by ninety-six. Jaden, can you tell me what you get? 0 0.1. What is that as a um, fraction? 1 10. So now we're going to rewrite the equation. But we're going to plug in A, P, Q only. So we do not plug in the X, Y. We just leave it as X, Y for the um, variables. So we will have Y equals our A value is one tenth parentheses. We leave X as X. We subtract four. Then we do X minus 24 and we have our equation in intercept form. Okay, and this graph is talking about the temperatures, what the temperature is doing um, hours after midnight. And it's asking what is the coldest temperature. So we're looking up here and the temperature is the Y value. And we're trying to find the coldest temperature. I'm not going to do that by looking at this picture and approximating. I'm going to do it using the equation. So if we're trying to find the coldest temperature, what part of this graph am I trying to locate? Jackson? The lower what? The lower what? The lower half. Like the lower point. The lower point. Is that what you're saying? I, it's hard to understand with the math one. Yes, I'm actually trying to locate the lowest point. That is a specific part of this graph. Do you know what it's called if we're trying to find the lowest point? Brooke, do you know what it's called? The vertex. The vertex. We're trying to find the vertex. Yes, that's what we need to find is let's find the vertex. So now we did a lesson on how to find the vertex when it's in intercept form. How do we find the vertex when it's in intercept form? Just had a quiz. How do we find the vertex when it's in intercept form? Tessa, can you tell me the first thing I need to do? We need to find our axis of symmetry. Which is going to be the middle of the two x-intercepts. So we could take the x-intercepts, 4 plus 24, and average them. 28 over 2 is 14. So x equals 14 is our AOS. <laughs> So that is the first part of the vertex. Is that the number I need? It's not the number I need. I need the y value. So how do I find the y value of the vertex? Amar. Right. We take that 14. We're going to plug it into the equation and find our y value. So I'm going to have 1 tenth times 14 minus 4 times 14 minus 24. 
one tenth times ten times negative uh, ten. Looks like we got negative ten degrees. Does that seem right for our graph? That it be at negative ten degrees. And we're going to skip this next question for today. Let's do student practice writing equation of the parabola that passes through 2, 5 and has x intercepts at negative 2, 4. So we've got x, y, we've got p, q. y equals a times x minus p times x minus q. I'm going to keep writing it until I know it and probably still write it after that. Then we're going to plug in x, y, p, and q. So 5 equals a times x is 2 minus p is negative 2. And then 2 minus 4. When I did uh, 2 minus negative 2, that became plus, so I got 4. And then 2 minus 4 got me negative 2, so I have negative 8a. Divide both sides by negative 8. And I get that a is negative 5 eighths. So I write our equation, y equals our a value, negative 5 eighths, times x plus 2 times x minus 4. So I just put in my p and my q again. Okay, there is a worksheet that goes with this posted on the module. Did I skip anything? Yep, we didn't get to that today, but that's okay, not a big deal. Um, on Wednesday, we have an online day. Are you guys aware of this? 